Hello guys, welcome back to with Shower Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Star Wars JD Survivor is having crashing issue, it is not launching, it is won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you're having an issue with Star Wars JD Survivor just try with a restart and that is what you have to do so restarting is just a simple step which you can try out for that just go over here in the start click on this one go for a simple restart so sometimes you know a simple restart can make a lot of things so just try with a simple restart after restart is successfully done just try to play the game this is going to work for you in most cases and you can try this out as well Moving to the next one is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we just need to go over here we need to go to the game select the game right click and go to properties now go to local file there is an option called verify integrity of game file so now as you can see the game is around 129.95 gb so that's going to take a lot of time if i click on the verify integrity of game file so hence i'm going to skip this up so just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is you can see a change over here the play button will be vanished it will be like checking out whether any files are corrupted or any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed once after that you'll be getting a message that all the files are validated and once after that will be getting the play button once again so just click on the play button once again and try to play the game and this is what you have to do so this is the second step which you have to try out when it comes to how to fix this app let's move to the next step next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder right now over here as you can see i'm over here in the steam so sometimes launching the game from steam might be an issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder so we have two method one we, we have a shortcut from the steam to the navigation i mean to the installation folder so just click on the game right click and go to properties go to local file click on browse that is redirected to this one that over here as you can see this pc local disc c program file x86 steam steam apps common jd survivor etc now from here we need to launch the game that is going to work for you as well so for many users when they tried this it did work it so you can just try it this way oh so this is also an important step you can open the application and you can play the game apart from this there is one more step that is navigate to the installation folder using file explorer for that just go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to local disc c now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam amps now go to common now from here we need to find star wars over here we'll be able to find now from here open the game and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well so once after that try to play the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed by this as well so you need to try this out so launch the game from the installation folder is going to fix the issue for you guys and you can try this out as well move to the next step next step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator this is an important step and for many users this did work it so uh we can what we need to do is we just need to go over here for that just need to go to the same over here in the star wars right click and go to properties now go to local file click on the browse now very easily we are redirected to the installation folder now from here we just need to go to the over here as you can see we are in the installation folder now go to the engine go to binaries go to win 64 now from here this is the application so right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here there is an option called run this program as an administrator so now just select this one go for apply and go for ok now try to play the game this is going to work for you in most cases and when the game is running in the as an administrator many issues has worked so this particular step did work it for many users and you can try this out as well this is going to work for you in most of the cases next one apart from that i would like to add one thing that is we just need to click over here right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility once again over here as you can see there is an option called compatibility mode select this one now from here instead of uh, windows 7 so first go for windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved if not just change this to once again windows 8 
go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game for many users when they run the game in the administrator it did work out for them so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to change the language i mean we need to change the language of windows for that just go over here in the search now from here once you go for the search over here we need to go to the settings now from here go to time and language there is an option called language and region now from here as you can see the english united states is the default language so now if you are not on this just click on the add language select for english language and add it as it is once after that go back and make sure the language and region not over here just go back now over here the date and time the time zone and uh, time zone should be time and time zone should be correct it should be turned on and it should be accurate so you have to make sure this and make sure the respective geography of your country is correctly selected so i'm from india so i have selected over here as you can see so you have to select the respective according to your geography and once you set this up just close everything and go back and try to play the game next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab and this did work out for many of the users as you as you can see so we just need to click on the play button over here so when you click on the play button just press alt and tab on the keyboard i don't know how this is working for many users this did work out and you can try this out just click on the play button and press alt and tab together and that is going to work for you as it is Moving to the next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So that we just need to go over here, just go to the file explorer over here. Now go to documents. Now from here you will be able to find the JD folder. I mean the Star Wars Ready Survivor. And if you find the folder, just delete the folder, and you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But that is fine. Just delete it, and once after that, try to play the game. Next one is all about we need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to. allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel now go to windows defender firewall now go to allow app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the jd i mean no, uh, we need to search for the game so over here as you can see the star wars jd fallen order is actually added and make sure that the private and public both should be selected not only really one make sure this one is done so imagine if this is not here that we need to add it by manually for the just click on allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps go to common now from here go to jd survivor now go to engine go for binaries go for win64 select this one and add it so once you add it successfully once you done with this one try to play the game and once after that most probably the issue has to be fixed moving to the next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices right now as you can see here i have connected the game to the controllers as well as i'm connected this one uh, my pc sorry and my laptop to the uh, logitech wheels and all the usb ports are actually filled with multiple monitors as well so i have to remove everything including controllers i have to remove everything keep it nil once after that click on the play button after game is launched successfully and if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services go for disable all keep in mind hide all microsoft services should be selected go for disable all go for apply and go for okay sometimes it might ask you for a restart if they are asking for a restart just go for restart once after that try to play the game next one is all about we need to disable now the next one is all about after performing a clean boot we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here right click and go for properties over here under general make sure this should be unchecked that means it is disabled this is what we have to do as the first one once after that we just need to go over here next step is we need to close uh, we need to give few commands in the over, uh, launch option so once after making sure the disable steam overlay is done just go over here give the command that is dx11 is the first command give this command and try to launch the game if this is not working change this to dx12 and try to play the game if this is not working dx11 is not working dx12 is not working then we just need to change the command to d3d2 change this one to d3d2 once after that all these commands are done and if it's still not working just remove everything 
and once after that just move to the next step that is all about close all the overclocking application for that just go over here in the start right click and we have to go to task manager now from here go over here at the top now over here as you can see there are 98 apps which is running in the background these old apps are actually uh, you know reducing the performance performance of my RAM. So what I need to do is I need to close all the unwanted applications like overclocking applications and overlay applications which is one of the main reason. Now just scroll down and if you find this code that comes under the category of overlay applications just go for end the task. And over here if you find anything like disk uh, reward tuner MSI afterburner etc that comes under the category of overclocking application just remove everything and go for end the task once after that just close everything go back and try to play the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed moving to the next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search we need to go for graphics setting just search for this once after that you will be able to find this and as you can see there are many apps which is already added same way we need to add it just click on the browse now from here go to local disk c Go to program file x86, keep scrolling down to steam folder. Now go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here go to JD survivor, now go to engine. Sorry, over here go to. Now go over here, select this one and add it. Once the game is successfully added, just go to option. By default, this would be let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. Once after that, close everything, go back and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. For that, just go over here in the search, go for view, advanced system setting, go for advanced setting. Once again, advanced. Now from here, go to change. Over here, we need to uh, uncheck the virtual memory and go for local disk C. Now go for custom size, give the value initial size should be as well as maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So over here, just go over here in the search, go for over here. Now 32 GB is the RAM, so I just have to multiply 32 GB into 1024. That brings you 32,768. So I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. 49,152. Now go to the maximum size. Over here, we just need to 32 GB into 1024. That brings you 32,676.8 into multiplying to 3, 98,304. So just paste this as well. Once after that, go for OK and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one, we need to update the windows. For that, just go over here in the search. Go for settings once again. Go over here in the Windows update at the bottom. Make sure the Windows is up to date and you're all good to go with that. Once after that, just close everything and go back. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card manually. For that, I'll be providing a link in the description to for both NVIDIA as well as AMD users. The or NVIDIA users just have to go over here and they just need to find everything. Now, once you find every details over here, including all the details, just go for start search and we'll be getting the latest released versions over here. And once you find this one, 531.68 is the latest released version, which is on 18th of uh, 2023. So just download this one and install this on a PC and restart it. If you're on the AMD, just go to this link and find every details over here, go for submit. Now from here, you just need to go over here as well as now go for the submit and you will be able to find the versions over here as well. So just download this one. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. And once after that, restart EBC and try to play the game. For many users, when they install the Microsoft Visual C++, this did work it. So I'll be providing this link. So just download this one. And once after that, install it and restart the PC and go back and try to play the game. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Star Wars JD is having crashing and all these kind of issues and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye